Have you ever wanted to build a camp far away from everyone so that you don't have any friends? No one can see your camp, it's completely invisible to the naked eye, and when someone comes to it, they can't even get inside it because you've made it so that only you can enter at your own leisure? What, what do you mean? Yes, you have. What, hello? Uh, hello, my fellow bubonic plague variants. I'm Mr. Church. Now, today we're going to be building something that you've been dreaming of for a long time, and that is a completely unaccessible camp underneath the map. Now, what I'm going to do first is build a way down under the ground with the old-fashioned base on the carpet on the stairway, um, which is just, you know, that's rudimentary, Watson. Don't worry about that. We're going to go down there. This is going to be our scaffolding for while we work. And uh, this isn't what the base is actually going to be built on. Don't worry about those foundations over there. They haven't hurt anyone, and they're not going to hurt you. But they will be deleted, you know? It's kind of like yourself. At the end of the day, you look in the mirror. No, we're not going to go down that dark path. But for those that like negging me in the comments section, here's some more random rants that you can talk about. Uh, anyway, let's grab a... Uh, we're in the middle area of the the camp here so let's grab a post maybe two and let's snap a gantry onto that post this will allow us to delete the post and it'll be floating completely suspended in midair on its own without anything holding it up no nothing is supporting this it's kind of like you right you're just alone in a body of this isn't therapy you know and it's not meant to make you feel worse so don't worry about that we're going to be building this staircase area. Now, whenever you snap these together, that's it. It's over. You can't delete them. They're supporting each other. They have no legitimate foundation anywhere. So you can't delete any of these pieces. There you have it. That's stuck in your camp. If you do need to delete it, just build a, st a stairway up to the ground floor and build a foundation connected to it, and you'll be able to delete backwards. But for the purposes of this build, you really don't want to do that because you'll have to start over. Be careful, therefore, when placing upper floors. Be careful in the name of God and every other deity on Earth and in the heavens and in the other realms that you don't believe in. Because it's going to suck if you fuck this up. It's going to suck so bad. It's going to suck more than deconstructing your faith after years of spiritual abuse. Now, what we're going to do is take your upper floors, okay? and add a little bit more outgoing this way i'm outgoing not this way and put it that way make sure you line it up for christ's sake please line up the, the tiles okay because those are stuck forever now what we have here is a spike board trap a carpet and a symptomatic on top i place this on the spike board i pick up the spike board once i level this out and what I'm going to do is stack it up here, going up that way. That's going to be our way in and out. So pick up the spike board trap, slap it on top of this. And what we're going to do now is uh, try to move it over and then pretend that we didn't want to anymore when it doesn't work. Now, take a power connector, pressure plate popper. If you move it once, the pressure plate will depress. And then you can do the sinking trip trick on it. And we're just sinking this down so the carpet is level with the top of that stair. And now we're going to take the other benches. This is the alien bench, by the way. It's from the Atom Shop. And uh, it comes with the alien bundle or something like that. Uh, that's all I know. Okay, so if you have any other questions about it, feel free to ask somebody else. One, two, three times we're going to sink it down. And I like doing it three times because it reminds me of how many times Peter betrayed Jesus when he was crucified. And that always makes me smile to myself, to think about spiritual the spiritual journeys that we've all been on. Now, let's take this alien bench, pop it there, pick this up, and slam it on down. Now, you're going to want to slam it down a little harder than your mother-in-law did when she found out that you'd been playing again when you should have been working and doing your homework. But that's okay, you have a second Xbox, don't you? No? Oh. Well then, I guess I'll see you in the next video. You have no use for this tutorial. Your gaming console is destroyed. So, um, why are you still watching? 
Does anyone know what's going on anymore? I sure lost the, th the thread of things. We're trying to build this staircase up so that just a little bit of it peeks out of the ground. And I want to say peeking like that because uh, it reminds me of the one time when I, uh, when I peeked in a different way. And I'm talking about um, financially. Yes, that's what I was speaking about. Not what you, th what did you think I was talking about? All right, so what we're now what we I want to find a place to place this down. So that r requires having a stroke, a seizure, wh whatever is going on. I don't have Tourette's, um, but I do think that there's something wrong with me. You know, I, well, I don't think I know that, but I don't know if that has anything to do with my inability to speak clearly. Now this is untouchable. So use the base to get back down. And you can hear the tune that I play for seven seconds. And we can just come on over here. And we're going to need another bench. And we're going to get our challenge completed. And that is so exciting. I have been so looking forward to unlocking another reskinned Atom Shop purchase that I already bought. That's just in a different color. And they could have put in the main bundle that I already purchased with my actual money. But I'm not going to, you know question that i'm sure they know what they're doing after all they did fix meat week instead of just getting rid of it and giving us a different event last time it was broken wait what huh wait what oh oh no they didn't no they didn't do that um they actually didn't do that they what what happened was i remember now what happened was meat week broke do you remember and then what they did was canceled it for, I mean, just six months or more. But who cares? We can just do the event that we just did. Everyone's dying to do that again. You know, the one that lags out the entire server? That one? You don't? Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. I, I just, that's just what this says on this paper here that I have to, read. okay? Just the facts. It's, this is a book of facts. And sometimes when life gets low, read from the book of facts, okay? And that's one of them. So anyway, let's get back to this build. It's very exciting. I know you guys have been on the edge of your chairs with bated breath. And when I say bated breath, I mean you have like literal fish hooks in your face. And, uh! All right, so the point of that is so you can destroy that spike board. It'll disappear the carpet which will disappear the symptomatic, which will make it so no one can get into your house. Now, of course, when the build is done, we're going to get rid of the base in that area. So the only way in and out is going to be the symptomatic. So you can come down into your base and you can essentially lock it by disappearing the symptomatic. And yes, disappearing is a verb. And so thank you. Um, and let's make a little rudimentary stairwell, I guess, for the entryway. Um, cause that's all I can think of right now. And, uh, let's not, I'm not going to stress about it. This is a video game. Okay. So let's all take a deep breath here. Everything's fine. Why? Hello? I definitely cut that portion out. I don't know. I thought I did. I remembered checking my phone. Okay. And I was like, that's okay. I'll just edit that part out. And then I, I, I must've done it again. The important thing is, though, that I put in the effort. I tried. I gave it the old college try or whatever they call it. Um, I don't know why they call it that because I sure, I sure the fuck didn't try when I was in college. And it shows. I mean, what am I doing now? Look at look at what I'm doing right now. Okay. I'm building. I This is a. Okay. Let's not dig too deeply into that. We're having fun here and that's all that matters. Now, what I'm doing is I'm replacing this with something that I won't end up keeping, which is very good. All of that, hmm, didn't need to keep in the video. But that's just bonus content for you. And I always think that more is la less, actually. So, I'll cut it out. In that. Don't worry. So, anyway, let's go back downstairs. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're just going to test that. This is going to be how we get into the build. And then we can lock it by triggering that. It goes away. And then when you're upstairs, you can't get in. Now, uh, I'm going to put some walls up around here, and uh, we're going to put some walls down here. Well, wait, what? Oh, yeah, you can't put a wall there. Now, this is fun. Um, I love that. So, yeah, I tried different stairs and stuff, 
And then I uh, was thinking maybe, maybe I'm using the wrong wall. Maybe the stairs are wrong. Why can it go everywhere else but this one area? And I remembered thinking that this had been a thing, but I thought they had fixed it because the last time I used a stair gantry, I was able to put walls all the way around it. So I tried different walls. I really tried, but then I said, let's try this and see what happens. So I put walls all around it. You know, this is a test thing to show you what's going on. And it works, it works perfectly. Uh, but for some reason, if you were to have two, you can still put walls all the way around. Um, as you can see, the areas that are problematic, no problem. They will go down any of those areas. But if the second you have a third one, that middle area at the bottom of the stairs, right next to the stairs, there's no snapping point anymore. So, I'm telling you this now, before you build this build, do the walls. Huh? Then I discovered you could build inside the stairs like this. Wait, what? Did you see that? It was green, and it went down. Anyway, when you're building this, build the stairs, build a wall around it, then build the next level, build the wall around it, then build the next level, build the wall around it. Do it in that order. Don't do the, what I did, because I had to do all this in order to get a wall into that spot that's got a hole in it. So, what you're about to see is um, me trying to fix what shouldn't be a mechanic, what shouldn't be broken, and that's the game. Um, the whole game. Just the just all of it. But, like, this specific problem um, ar arose. For some reason, that's also a thing. If you want to put walls on the bottom layer, you want to put the walls on that layer first, and then work your way up. See, I can't snap there, but if I move this, then I can snap there, and then I can put one back into place. But that's still a problem right there. Now, um, what you're going to want to do when you're building this is obviously, like I said, just put the walls on it as you go. What I had to end up doing is putting an upper floor here, and remember, that's permanent because I can't delete these things. And uh, then using one of these blueprints with the walls... To slap it in place now I'm gonna put a card up in the top corner if you don't know how to build this I have a video that shows you how to make blueprints and you can reference that if you want to learn how to build this specific one and that'll be in the top corner of the screen um, but I had to use this to try to get this into place to cover it up and I'm trying to get it as close as possible because I know there's gonna be gaps in it but this is what I had to resort to because the game's broken and frankly I had already built the entrance, which took so long, I didn't want to start over again by just replacing the camp, which is what it would have come down to. So, build order, very important, because um, fixing the game isn't, but that's okay. We don't care too much, you know, as long as we can have the same regurgitated events every few months. I don't see what there is to complain about. I mean, they're giving us free stuff. All you have to do is pay real money for it. So, what? why are you bitching? Why are you bitching? If you don't like the game, <laughs> then just go play something else, he said. Um, which is fair. That's a fair argument, but also... Um, when did I say I didn't like the game? I forget. I'm trying to... Th oh, no, I didn't actually say that. That's right. And that's so weird how it well you can like you know how sometimes people say words and then you can listen to them and then yeah let's try that next time okay okay jason thank you thank you so this is gonna look pretty ugly on the outside and it doesn't matter whatsoever because this build is only going to be experienced from the interior so just throw your walls around there and I will say throw up walls because it w does look like vomit when you look at the completed project. Um, but we're going to actually go out a little bit further on the bottom layer and then add those walls in. And we're going to have a cubic pile of shit. And it's going to give us joy. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and remember, take your goddamn time when you're putting down the floors. I can't stress that enough because if you fuck up, you can't move it. You can't adjust it. It's just there forever. You got to start over. So take your time, you know, take your time. with it. You can rush anything in life. 
including intercourse with your wife, but do not rush putting down these floors. And also, uh, that was a joke, you know? It was a, I was being sarcastic, okay? And if you're coming to me and taking stuff like that I say seriously, then I think it's time that you invest in some uh, self-help, okay? And by self-help, I do not mean masturbation. Get out of, what are you doing? I'm, let's just build the base and we can, let's work on that stuff later because I think you're getting way out of control with this, okay? So let me, now that I'm like basically done with the structure, let me walk you through it here. The idea for this build isn't just hidden, but we want to make it look like, uh, like a privately owned Fallout, bug out, doomsday prepper shelter. Okay, not a vault tech shelter, not corporately owned, privately owned. So the inside is going to look like a house, right? But the outside is going to be uh, hard to get in, okay? Now I'm going to leave the uh, couple of these stairs here for now in case we need a scaffolding because we're not quite done yet. But that's going to be deleted. In fact, here it is deleted now. Here's the finished product and let's look it over. So as you can see, this is the build. I deleted the scaffolding and everything, and so now all we have is the build. I scattered some of those brambles around. They're not quite the right color for the for the uh, bushes in this region, um, but this is what you can see of the camp, the camp node. And I do need to leave this above ground because it is. I need to be able to repair the symptomatic um, with it. But there it is. It's hidden under this wheelbarrow. Now we come down here. I did put a roof here and if you want to know how to get a roof or any of that stuff covering the symptomatic just disappear the symptomatic and then put it in the roof is so that when you're down in the stairwell and look up you can't see outside of it i didn't want to break the immersion of being inside the shelter so let's head on down here i've got raider punk because he's the conspiracy theorist that would have uh, uh no thanks right now i'm kind of busy okay excuse me um excuse me thank you um, but anyway, he's the kind of guy that would have this type of thing in a tinfoil hat, but, you know, the bunny hat's better, so that's what he's wearing. Now, we have a nice little cozy area. I wanted to look like it's someone's living in it, so I have the paintings aren't hung up yet, you know, because everyone puts that off. I've got some leaning against my wall, because uh, you just forget about it. And then, and then the painting actually goes leaning against the wall. That's where it lives now. Um, but over here... We've got a nice little cozy living room area, a, f a fireplace, and the smoke definitely isn't just going up into the room. It's going out. Don't worry about that. Over here, we have a little module thing because there's going to be some power source here. We're completely underground and everything. And someone like Raider Punk, he's going to want his technology. All right, so this is, of course, the speakers. Those are backwards aquatic TVs. And uh, I just placed the Raider Punk's table. Hey, It'll go right wanna, into that table. I don't know. It shouldn't. Um, but it just does. And I don't care. And now over here is a little kitchen. Very basic. I got the idea to use these communist military safes from Vapid Valentine. Uh, to use them in this manner as a, as a cupboard. And I'll link the video where I saw that in the description below. Here is uh, purified water, which I need. Um, not, I don't actually... Um, but I've been doing a survival run on Fallout 4 over on my Twitch channel. That's just a shameless plug if you want to go follow me on there. But I keep picking up purified water because I need it so bad. But I don't actually need it in this game. I have like 200. Anyway, that's like the living area. And then if you come down here, I'm actually starving. Look, I'm starving. But this is where I covered up that hole. And then over here, of course, uh, a very back there, junk. Piled up all the junk, storage, and I want it to look like I don't want you to go over there. Because if you come over here, you'll see down outside of it and it'll break the immersion. So it's kind of just to discourage people from going that way. So you stay within the bounds of this area. And of course, we have the bedroom down here. And um, it's all, you know, Nuka-Cola themed. As if the person who lives here is just a real big fan of Nuka-Cola. And then we have some other unthemed things. This is supposed to be the Thirst Sapper from Nuka World. I don't know. It's just an alien blaster. Um, but we have some unthemed things. vault stuff. I don't know. It, there's. I could probably have themed it a little better in that, in that corner. 
but I really went ham on it over here. Lots of Nuka Cola stuff, more than you could ever want to see in one spot. And I sunk this down a little bit into the dresser so it doesn't have the legs, so it kind of looks like it's just a box TV sitting there. And uh, lots of fun stuff. And here's the bathroom. Uh, I put it at this end so it's closer to when you come down the stairs because this is the bathroom for the whole build so it needs to be accessible to everyone and not just you in the downstairs area place to wash your clothes things like that shower very beautiful back here is the workshop and i have <clears throat> this stuff is merged i just burned the weapons bench and then i can place those in that area and I can drop merge, I drop merge that stuff there. I know some people like to hide their generators, but I honestly think that the fusion generator adds a lot of immersion when you're going for like a pre-war build, which this is supposed to be, because that, according to lore, this would be how I would power my vault. And so I like having that there, it adds a lot to it in my opinion. Let's close that curtain and uh, let's head on over this way. Now, if you want to leave the vault, you can obviously go upstairs and jump, um, but actually, I think I hear something, what's going on. Um, you can just jump up. If you don't want someone coming, you can just lock it like this by triggering that, and some random person on my team has actually come by, so let's see if he can get down here. Um, I, don't, I don't know who that is, uh, and if you're watching this, I apologize um, for the confusion. Um, but let's taunt him a little bit. I'm sure he won't mind. Uh, people like being taunted on this game. That's what I've noticed. I, you go into area chat and you learn these things. I'm just trying to fit in, you know? So I try to be as toxic as possible because that's what everyone else seems to be doing nowadays. Because uh, I didn't naturally wake up in the morning and say, you know what? I hope I make someone else's life as miserable as possible. But once I've seen, you know, other people doing it, now I just really feel encouraged that that's what you're supposed to do. I think that's how you make friends. I've so far made zero, but it's, I'm just not putting the time in. As you can see, you just pop up out of the ground. And uh, you can kind of say hello. Hello, Lasten. Welcome home. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, consider leaving a like. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel out. Um, if you're not already following me on Twitch, I do stream a lot of uh, other games over there. Um, uh, thank you so much to my channel members and patrons for your support. And from Lasden1 and I, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.